Hi, my name is Nina Sipnaski, and for the Art Appreciation Final, we chose to do the self-portrait by William Orpin. He painted it in Ireland in 1912, and it's an oil painting and collage that's on wood, and it is 24 by 19 and a half inches unframed. And the forma element that I chose is light and value, and so you can see in the background of the art piece that there is a window with a lot of natural light and chromatic values, which contrast with the dark pieces of paper that are mostly achromatic values on the mirror. And the window shows a bright sunny day on the outside, but on the inside it's more of a dark and gloomy feeling. So how this art piece relates to me is the person in the painting is to, supposed to represent the artist in the art piece and he's seen holding a rag while looking at the mirror where it looks like he wants to wipe away his reflection and I've felt that sometimes in my life that I wish I could just wipe away the reflection and start over. But just like the artist, I didn't wipe away their reflection. Even if I wanted to, you can't just start over. You can only try to love the reflection instead. Hi, my name is Nina Tran. I am a sophomore at FAU and my major is health science and I had the pleasure of relating time and motion to this artwork. I feel like this artwork relates a lot to my life because I am a full-time student, now I have to learn to roll in motion with my life of how to balance school life, work life, family, social life, just like he has a bunch of person like a personal check plastered on the mirror as long as ferry tickets and a diary entry on the mirror. My name is Caitlin and I'm a freshman at FAU and my major is psychology. Uh, I connect personally with the painting because it shows a man looking at himself in a very negative way and I used to definitely look at myself like that. Um, but I've come a long way and so it's kind of a nice way to like look at the painting. Uh, and I had texture and pattern and basically what I found was that the patterns in the flowers are all very light pastel colors and the way that the colors are blended together are make it very beautiful and smooth. Um, and the mirror itself and the man's face have very rough textures and um, to make it be portrayed in a negative way um, or in a dark way. Um, and his face is very blatant with how the colors are blended. Um, so you can tell that it's very uh, negative all around. Hi, my name is Bradley Sombrello and I'm a business major at Florida Atlantic University. In this portrait, he uses oil and collage on wood. I will be discussing space, the element of space and space an artwork of art refers to a feeling of, of depth or 3D dimensions. It also refers to artist's use within the area of a picture plane. There are positive and negative spaces. A positive space is the primary object in which we are focusing on, and the negative space are the surrounding areas around the primary object. In this portrait, the man is the primary space, and the negative space in this object, in this, in this portrait, are the written papers around the man. The reason my group and I have chosen this artwork is because the portrait portrays so many elements of art within only one image. The portrait ties into William's life and goals because he's looking at himself and having reflection on himself on which he wants to wipe out and fix. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lola Torres and I'm a sophomore at FAU and I am majoring in communication studies. The formal element that I chose is line and color. The painting uses many line techniques to help define the background to the subject, which is the man in the mirror. For example, William used implied lines by using shades of color on the man's suit to suggest creases and show contrast between the windowed background. In the background, Orpin used actual lines to depict window panes and blinds, as well as the personal items on the mirror. As you look at the personal lines, the window blinds, and as well as the border of the mirror, you can see that the value of the color in the painting is more dark. We see, we see uses of the primary color green, but yet the value is still dark. The painting uses dull and neutral colors, yet the rag that he holds in his hand is a saturated red. And through the windows, we see bright colors. This painting reminds me of a time when I was going through depression and I would look in the mirror and, and see all that I would have to do. I would be dark and gloomy on the inside, yet on the outside, I would try to be bright and, uh, and cherry. Just like the windows is bright, yet the, uh, the room inside is dark. Hi, my name is Emma Smith. I'm a freshman in the College of Arts and Letters and I'm studying English. I will be discussing the shape and volume aspects of the self-portrait by William Orpin. The shape elements of the painting include square-like pieces of paper that are set upon the mirror in which the artist is looking at himself through. These pieces of paper are centered around the word engaged in information that is relevant to the artist's life. The volume of the artwork is regular and actual. I feel as though I can relate to the self-portrait because it seems as though the artist is trying to erase his past actions and start over and I would like to do the same as I speak in college.